guys, this is Kylie from Titan Workshop bringing you the most awesome of toys on the planet. Today, we are going to be unboxing the Whiplash Mark II from the Iron Man Diecast series. We are going to be opening the box now, yay! So this is some very sturdy styrofoam. I think even if you drop a truck on it, it probably will still be fine. So it's very hard to open. Ta-da! Yay! Okay. So now we can take a look at the actual whiplash himself. So as you can see, the details are very good. The paint drop gives the appearance of like welded metal at the seams so certain parts are made out of plastic like for example the front of the skirt is plastic um, the middle portion of the body is die cast over here we have his chest plate um, this is like the more damaged version of his chest plate so there are two versions one is the not so damaged one and the other one is the extremely damaged one so there's a portrait of him here and on the actual statue itself currently it's just his usual mask plate thing so you can swap that around also and below the box which is again very difficult to pick up we have other stuff hidden below the box so here we have the manual and we have his energy whips as well as the base this is the displayed figure of whiplash and you can see even more clearly now all the details on the paint job for example there's some damaged metal appearance over here at the side and certain pieces are made out of plastic like the front part of his skirt but as you can see Due to the very good paint job, you can't really tell the difference between the plastic parts and the actual die-casted parts. The chest plate is also made out of die-cast material. It's removable. It's magnetic and removable, so you can swap it out for even more damaged looking chest piece. The helmet is also magnetic, so underneath it you can see a portrait of the actor Mickey Rook and it's very lifelike in appearance if you can see up close I can even see the pores on his skin as well as some sweat and his eyes look very lifelike because there's a reflection his moustache and beard are very nicely done so it looks like actual hair and if you look at the manual, you can see a list of the articulation of the joints so you know exactly how much you can adjust everything. And his whips, energy whips, are made out of a kind of rubbery material so it's very soft and bendy. And it comes with these electrical effect things which are also made out of the same material, very bendy. So you can just kind of coil it around the whips so it, so it actually looks like it has electricity. The base is a final battle scene from Iron Man 2 where he was fighting Iron Man and War Machine. However, I feel that the pebbles are kind of fake looking. So I guess the paint job could have been better for the pebbles. But for everything else, it's pretty good. The ground looks quite realistic as well. The only problem are the pebbles. I don't know why they look so smooth. They look more like M&Ms than pebbles. There's a lot of detail on the back as well. So you can check out the armour over the spine as well as all the pistons. And his skirt pieces are movable. So you can lift them up and check out his ass. And over here at the feet, they can also be opened up. Certain parts of the whiplash figure are able to be lighted up as well. These are the head, the arc reactor as well as the energy whips. So to turn on the lights on the head, lift up the mask and underneath it there's a switch. Turn on. And ta-da! Now he has glowy eyes. And for the arc reactor, the switches are actually on the back. 
so under this the um, he has like these back flaps covering the switches so you just take them out and you turn on the switches and then you put the flaps back oh this is like doing micro surgery after this I can be a doctor okay so now his arc reactor is turned on and lastly his energy whips. The switches for the whips are located on the inner in his inner forearm area. And they are really hard to find. I need a telescope. Okay. So for the energy whips, the light is relatively weak as you can see and it doesn't extend all the way. So I feel that it's not as impressive as it could be. If let's say the light was a little bit stronger or the entire whip was able to be lighted up instead of just this little portion. Overall, this is a very well done piece as it's very movie accurate and it's something that every Iron Man fan should own. However, there are certain things, for example, the lighting for the energy whips, which I felt could have been done better, as well as the base could probably look more realistic. So, thank you for watching and for more videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well as visit our website. See you next time!